All right. This is the last time. I don't care how much the stupid burns. No more destroying the multiverse. You have any idea how much time and elbow grease it takes to outsource this job to someone who knows what they're doing? It's like 12. So yeah, we're in HD pretty much. Hi. Should we introduce ourselves this time? What were you doing behind the desk? What were you doing not behind the desk? <laughs> That's blue. That's what? That's a very nice rendering, Dave. I think you've improved a great deal. That's how. Same intro? Yeah, let me show up. Listen to the bats of the bat. Listen for your nose, ears, and eyes. Ready over bones, cars, and insides. There's plenty of crap. Happen to see you what you want. Never lost it. Elephant and dog, kids, the whack. I'm on your line, talking about that. We got it. Hey guys, I'm pretty sure I figured out all the phones, except this one. Does anybody know what that is? It's the standpoint phone. Nobody knows what it is. But you just... No, I didn't. I think I get it. Really? Eh. Well, deaf people deserve a phone too, so... It's just like a normal phone, except it's silent. How do you know it's gone off then? Only it knows if it's ringing. Hi, you called the standpoint phone. We think. I probably did, yes. From your perspective, it might seem like all I did was stand on my head and fart green liquid into the atmosphere. But you would not see it change color. You would change color instead. Alrighty, you need some help with some? I cannot be helped. I do need your help, though. Uh -huh. My ability to detect the electromagnetic spectrum has been rather heroically compromised. You mean you're blind? How dare you! That is a vicious slur! I refuse to be treated like an invalid. Now then, you need to do things for me because I'm incapable of them. Uh huh. This rig here is my pride and joy, and I need someone to watch over it so no one steals its precious produce from me. <laughs> this game sounds rigged. I didn't hear that. You do realize this universe is less than three minutes old, right? The only oil you're gonna find down there is your own secretions. I do not care for oil. I'll have you know this is a love slick. <laughs> See? You're digging for love. You either nick the pipeline or you're doing it really right. Who are you to tell me what love is? We're the honey badgers. And we don't. My love is mine to define. If I supply someone with an identity, with an opaque psychological skin, with a veil of affection to cover the hole which mysteriously appeared in their self-esteem, then why can't I price it at 20 grand a barrel? Just there's nothing there, eh? You don't know that. You have sight privilege. That means I can see better than you. Success! I have struck love! <laughs> that ain't love. Yeah, you, you, you nicked a pipeline. There might be something in there that was once romantic, but yeah, it's like 99% raw sewage. Kinda like standpoint theory. Who are you to say what is and is not raw sewage? Uh. If my love is a coarse and dangerously acerbic solvent that slowly melts the foundations of every structure it touches and leaves a trail of deadly bacterium jungles in its wake? What the hell's this? Then who are you to say I can't sell it to emotionally crippled people for the price of their entire life savings and their undying devotion? Ah, oh, the universe is collapsing into an existential void. Oh, come on, not the frickin' universe! I just built that thing! It's still there. It's just collapsing locally, you see what I mean? Oh my god! Excuse me. Has it come to your attention that your designer ignorance is causing the universe to collapse? Lies! I cannot see this happening, and therefore it is not happening! Yeah, that's why it's collapsing the universe. Damn, Einstein was right about everything. Even human stupidity. Mole stupidity. Yeah, mole stupidity. And get your filthy hands off my love slick! I can smell you touching it! There's nothing left to touch, you idiot! Your love slick caused a sinkhole in the fabric of reality! Guys! I think I figured out the standpoint phone. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so much easier than it looks. It all depends on where you're standing, right? Yes. See, if I come over here, if I stand at this point, and I...
Okay, so can that be translated into real-life violence? No! Not from where I'm standing. <laughs>